Super Dragon Ball Z. So, what do you want to play? Yes, everyone. Welcome to way, Super Dragon Ball Z on PlayStation 2. Not Dragon Ball Super. Guy. Okay, <laughs> Super Dragon Ball Z. So, yes, we're gonna play this game. It's pretty interesting, but this game was released in arcades right after the home release console game of it came out. But of course, this game came out a few months after Budokai Tenkaichi came out. So, it's pretty interesting. Uh, just by hearing the intro of the music, it already has that. Budokai Tenkaichi soundtrack in it, so I wouldn't say it's going to be the same thing with all the soundtracks, but it was similar, a little bit similar to the opening of this game to Tenkaichi, Tenkaichi, uh, Tenkaichi 1. But of course, we're going to do our best to do everything. Hopefully, we could try to collect everything, but this game is a lot of more customizable. You know, you could customize characters, colors, skills. You know, a lot of good stuff, which is going to be pretty awesome, but over time we're going to see if we could try to do everything, of course, but our main attraction is custom, because if you go to Z Survival right now, it's just like a survival mode, but you go here, you do need a custom character to do it, because you're able to gain XP bar. You can also do it with, over there in original arcade, you know, but you need to have a customizable card, so that's what we're going to do. I already did one just to see how it works and everything. But you need to go down here and create character cards. And once you create one, you have your character, which mine is Black Goku. So later on down the line, we are going to get more stuff and new things about our character. But we had to do a lot of, you know, battle people, gain XP, all that stuff. But as you can see, this is what it is right now. This is our character, whatever character you want. You could check your skill tree. And here it's going to be very important because you're able to unlock more moves or more options for your character. But depending which route you want to take, either left, right, or down the middle. So over time, we're going to try to do that, hopefully, uh, once we get to our character and everything. But check available skills, which are, you know, our square ones right here. But we don't we do not have any and of course we could change our color which i have it in the second color but hopefully shenron or i'm not sure how we're gonna get more colors they're not just one time wish so like oh you only get this color for this character you know which is gonna be a pain in the ass to do but if it is like that then oh boy we're gonna be here all day try to collect all the colors for all the characters but yeah, you're able to customize your character here once you reach, you know, the gauge and everything. But you go to create character card, select whatever memory card you have on your PlayStation 2, and then select whatever character you want. And luckily enough, Chi Chi is a playable character, so that's pretty cool. You know, when I saw her for the first time, you know, when I bought the game and everything, I was like, what? Chi Chi, it's a playable character. I did, I didn't know, I didn't know that because it's been a long time since I ever watched Dragon Ball. When you know, I think she did enter to the World Tournament, but it was just pretty interesting seeing her in this game. But we do have everyone here. You know, we got Gohan, Krillin, you know, Trunks, Piccolo, you know, Android 16, Cell, Android 18. Majin Buu, Frieza, Vegeta, Android 17. I'm not sure if I said it correctly, Android 16, I think I might have said 18 by accident. But yeah, we have everyone here. You select whatever character you want. And we're going to try to do all of them. But for right now, we're just going to do with Goku. Because I guess he's the, you know, the balanced character out of everyone. But also you can erase cars and you can only do a maximum of 30 only. So just be worried about that. So. You only have 30 slots for you to open, so you want to delete one, you have to delete one, so I think we're not going to do that very often, but we'll see what kind of moves and supers they have in that skill tree. But right now we're going to go to training, because I just want to show you guys like how the game is played and everything so that you don't feel like, uh, I don't want to buy this game because it, it feels like a downgrade, but it's not. It's 
a really fun game. It's a little bit more different because it does have, you know, just like Budokai mechanics with like a little bit of Street Fighter, basically, because you had to in manually input your commands, you know, like a like a Kamehameha or like a, a Dragon Fist, all that stuff. I mean, of course, I'm not sure there's an actual super move for Dragon Fist, but I mean, I am going to show you. But of course, you could select your custom character or, you know, without using a card, you could select whatever character you want to, if you want to. But I'm just going to go with our Black Goku. It's just a default. There's nothing new about him. It's just regular default character. And of course, if you want to change the color, you press the start button and you're able to change the color characters of any anyone here and they stay in the, the other color but I'm not sure you're able to get more colors once you get the more colors I'm not sure you're able to change it to them but if you press it one more time you're back to the original color so we're gonna go with Vegeta right now just to demonstrate how the game is playing and everything but it is a fun game it's a little bit different from all the other ones but this one's a lot more better unlike I think it was called Dragon Ball Final Belt, you know, on the original PlayStation, that was, I've seen videos of it, it's pretty terrible. But this one, I think it does a lot of potential since this was in the arcades, you had to input your, you know, moves manually. So if you press up, you do a whole 360, which is pretty cool. And the same thing you could do by pressing down. And of course you go back, forward, but if you want to jump, you have to press circle. All right, the circle button. You want to jump forward, forward circle. You want to jump back, back circle. So yeah, you could jump over characters if you want to, and you could fly, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure most fighting games do this. Well, for 2D fighting games that you're able to fly, because no most fighting games, you mostly jump and then you start inputting your attacks, you know, like that. And you do your whole combination attacks, whatever, but this one you do have flight, but as you can see from the action gauge down the bottom, once it reaches zero, you're not able to fly anymore until it recovers. But of course, if you double tap forward, you do a little dash, but you also, you know, waste one bar of that action. Same thing if you go back and to the side and up. And also you have homing attacks by pressing R1, you do the light attack. As you can see, Goku does the elbow strike. And then you do the heavy attack, which is R2. He does a knockdown attack with his drop kick. So it does waste the gauge, so you're like moving around, going up like that. So you, that, you do have the different options to fight your character and everything like that. So the next thing we we're going to do is just check the command list. You have different commands that you could do, you know, different types of moves and everything. But you do have combination of text for you to cancel into. So we do have a lot of them here. They're pretty simple to do, but we're going to do the very first one. So square, triangle, triangle. Now we do the next one. Uh, I think it was square, square, triangle. So Goku does a kick instead of the punch in the gut. But if we do forward, up and down, we're gonna do forward, so square, square, forward. So Goku does kind of like a cross up, almost. But you jump, press triangle, he does a kick behind him. So you could catch him off guard, you know, depending on the player you're playing or the CPU, they might not block. So you do down, square, square, down, you sidestep, and same thing, you go up, you sidestep. So that's pretty much it for that. And now we have Kamehameha, so we have down, forward, square, and triangle. The difference between them is speed. So we do down, forward, square. We do two hits. If we do, but of course it's slow. If we do triangle, it's a lot more faster. But of course, like in every Dragon Ball Z game, you're able to charge and you do even more damage. So it went from 51, unlike 28 or 21 so that's pretty cool same thing with the heavy attack it's just more faster 
So that's what you could do. So you hold it, just like any video games out there. You hold the button, does more damage. <laughs> so next thing we're gonna do is Flutter Kick and Blast Fist. So Flutter Kick is just down back square, but you're able to do another attack by pressing whatever attack it tells you right there. So we're gonna do down back square square. So down back square square, you you know do a lunge, you know upward kick, and they get knocked down or knocked to close to the edge of the map or wherever they're at. But we do triangle, so square triangle. So we knock them down in the ground. So let's do the heavy attack. So we're gonna do a down back square. I mean down back triangle and square. Okay. So same thing, there's nothing different about them, it's just that I think it's just depending on the speed of the flutter kicks. Because they kind of look the same, but I think it just depends on the second hit. So the square, you do that kick, and then if you do triangle, you knock them down on the ground like a ground smash. So that's how uh, flutter kicks works. Now we do blast fist, which is a shore you can. Okay, they're a little bit wrong. There you go. One attack, 27 damage, not bad. But we do the triangle version. Here we could try to get it. 34 damage, so... Triangle is always gonna be better. Unlike square, but... You know. Always. Light attacks, light, heavy attacks do more damage. And of course, the next one is KO Ken. Now, I think we cannot do this with KO Ken right now because our health recovers. So I think that's the reason why, even if I try to input a command or anything, for whatever reason, it's still the same. So we do Kamehameha, normal, 21 damage, but we do KO Ken with Kamehameha, same damage. So. My only guess is probably has to do with KO Clan going to a full bar. I think that's part of the reason why, but I cannot change it here for whatever reason, which is pretty shame because I cannot, uh, you know, disable the infinity uh, health and everything. So that's kind of a bum, a bummer right there. But I also got Super Kamehameha and Super Saiyan. So Super Kamehameha do two times down. Um, down forward. So, do 56 damage, but of course, even with the triangle, it's still the same damage, there's nothing different about them. And the speed is still the same thing, so... That's how it is. But we're able to do... We're able to transform into Super Saiyan, and we do even more damage, so... 56 for Super Kamehameha, but we turn to a Super Saiyan. Okay. Come on, game, give it to me. There we go. 73 damage, so... It's pretty crazy how... much damage you do once you turn Super Saiyan. Same thing could be with... you know... Charge... Kamehameha. 68 damage, so... Tuning Super Saiyan is a really nice way to do extra damage but you only have a certain amount of time but you also could do it in the air as well even your super attacks as well but depending on some characters but most characters if you do it on the air you could do most of your attacks in the air of course you know key blast 2 and all that stuff but yeah that's how you play the game it's just mostly like Marvel vs. Capcom or Street Fighter inputs but you still have, you know, the mechanics, just like the previous um, Dragon Ball Z games. It's just... It just really depends, like, how you really want to take away from this game, but it's still a lot of fun, because you're able, like I said, you're able to cancel into your super attacks. Which is pretty cool. If I could try to do it, like, there... See? You're able to cancel into your supers, or... Stuff like that, so let's try this one more time. 
I'm trying to see if I could do it with my super attack. There we go. So we did a lot more damage by doing a combination move or DP motion as well. So yeah, you could do a lot of stuff, a lot of different, you know, types of combinations, but you mostly have to work around to see, you know, what works because it's still a little bit of a funky game sometimes because of how much they try to make it into like like a Street Fighter game basically because you do have to input the commands and everything. But it's still a lot of fun. Still a lot of fun. I, I think it's just one of those nice games that I think a lot of people that I hear don't talk about very much or maybe never played before because I've seen, you know, videos where people, you know, talk about some of their favorite Dragon Ball Z games and which ones they like more, which ones they play a lot. But I think Super Dragon Ball Z is one of them that I don't hear very much. But if you guys have played it, leave it down in the comments below. I, I will, or share some videos because I would love to see, you know, you know, what you take into this game. Because of course, it's a little bit different, you know, from the other Dragon Ball Z games, but at least it still holds up, you know, just like the mechanics wise and everything. But yeah, that's how the game is played. And of course, later on in the future, we are going to get more other supers, but we need to level up our character, of course. So that's pretty much it for the first video. And until next time, we're going to do the arcade version. So that's what we're going to do next time. But thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Super Dragon Ball Z on PlayStation 2. As well, so everyone, some of your friends that you never heard about this game, or you want to show them like, oh, we used to play this game back then, share with them. And hopefully, later on, we're going to try to do every single character. So yes, we're going to do all characters in the arcade versions, but only time will tell. But that's pretty much it. Keep on playing and game for life, guys. See you later.